What's going on everyone? Gilman with Livolti Stocks back with another video today taking a look at Palantir stock, ticker symbol PLTR. So we'll take a look at how Palantir stock traded today, key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future. And based on that, what we think it could do. We'll also take a look at some news that came yesterday that I think could be game changer for Palantir. So we'll do that. But real quick, before we start the video, I know I mentioned my Patreon, I think a couple times over the past few days. Um, I'm actually gonna put that on pause for now. There's a couple different things that I'm working on and I wanna make sure I, want, I can give you know the time to kind of each of those. So I still wanna do it, but maybe sometime in the future so i'll keep you guys posted on if that happens for the few of you guys that signed up um i will just be issuing refunds um so don't worry about it um and i do again i do want to do it in the future i love talking about trade ideas um and such but we'll we'll uh see when that happens in the future um and then if you guys like what i'm using in the video it's weeble so if you want to uh, sign up for that i'll drop a referral link in the description below if you use that to sign up we both get some free shares so let me hit record and we will get right into it so Palantir stock is up nicely today, $2.12 on the day, which is about 5.88%. Um, so great, great trading day for Palantir. Um, we'll cover the news that we got yesterday a little bit later for those of you guys that have already seen it yesterday. Um, but for now, I wanna focus a little bit more on um, you know how we traded today. So yesterday, you saw that we kind of closed here in the 36s. Um, and then today, right out of the gate, um, what we were doing is we were hitting up against this uh, 36.70s level of ours. Um, so let's take a look at um, how the day started. So uh, right out of the gate, right, we fell and we actually broke below our 36 level and then we pushed right back up um, above this level 37.45, then we pushed down, but we didn't go as, as low as before. Um, and then we broke above our 36.70s level. Um, and then again, right, we could not make as high of a high as we did back here. Then we went down this time bouncing perfectly off of our level pushed up, went down, bounced perfectly off of our level, bounced perfectly off of our level again, and then we start to push up, and then we really had a nice second half of the day where we kind of went from the 37s to 38.26, and then we kind of up and down, up and down, sideways into the close. So great, great trading action for Palantir, great momentum. Um, this is kind of what we were talking about with that run into earnings. So we are finally, you know, getting a little bit of that. So if you guys have seen my Palantir videos for a while, you know, um, we've, we've seen a lot of things happening. Um, one of which was this breakout. So you guys remember we were trading in this bull pennant for a little bit. We called that breakout, right? Um, not necessarily the day it was gonna happen, but that it was going to happen. And it did perfectly took us from 26 to kind of the mid 30s and then the next couple of days took us to 45 and then we were talking about um, you know the consolidation happening after the sell-off happening after and then you know here we kind of talked about hey um, we could be starting to curl back up so we did actually start to curl back up and now we are pushing up as a run into earnings um, so let's take a look at our levels of support levels of resistance and see what that could mean for us moving into the future so let me turn on the EMAs for us real quick and we'll get right into it. As you can see, we are a little bit separated from the AEMA. Um, so let's take a look at what we have coming from a level of support and then we'll talk about level of resistance. So the first level of support we have is that one that we saw today in the mid 36s. Um, we bounced off of it a couple times today and I think that's going to hold up as a really good level of support for us. So if it starts to go down, that 36 level is the first one that I'm looking at. And then the next one comes at this eight EMA here, um, which is in the 3465. Um, we've also got another level of support down in the low 34s. So between the mid to low 34s, um, you know, should get some support there. And if not, I think we drop all the way to the th 32s, um, whether that's the high 32s with the level that we have or the 21 EMA with the low 32s. So again, on the downside, we've got this 36 level, then we've got the mid to low 34s with the eight EMA in the level. Then we've got the other next level right here with the low to mid 32s. Um, so that's what we have on the downside. Upside though, since that's what we are more interested in, right? Um, the first kind of upside that we have to really take over is the $40.16 mark. And then after that, we have the 40, um, this, this high to knock out here in the 42s and then 45, the all time high that we set just a couple weeks ago. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, remember that we talked about kind of breaking 36s, making a push towards that 40. That's exactly what we've got in the first two days. Remember that earnings are a week from today. Um, so I do think we have a little bit of run into earnings left. I think we have maybe a day or two of that run left. 
whether we whether we take a break tomorrow and then run up Thursday, Friday, remember that Monday's off, so no trading happening Monday, or if we keep running tomorrow and maybe take a chill day on Friday. Um, either way, I think we have a little bit maybe of run room left, and then I think Earnings will be our, our typical sell the news is what I'm guessing um, just because of how much it has ran up. And again, they can post phenomenal earnings, but I think it, it depends on kind of their guidance. So if they come out and say something insane that we haven't heard before, I think it pushes up. But other than that, we could see a little bit of sell off after the fact that and the lockup expiration, I think, could lead to a little bit of a sell off after the fact. So we'll we'll keep an eye out for that. But I do think that, you know, um, if we can establish this 36 as a base, we push towards 40 and even maybe beyond, depending on what the momentum looks like at 40. So yesterday's news that I wanted to cover real quick was that I Palantir is partnering with IBM to um, work on an AI tool. Um, so this is really good for IBM because it gives them the ability uh, to get into AI and to be able to get into production using AI. Um, and then it's really good for them also because Palantir is a low code or no code um, that in integrates right into the IBM Watson technology. So great, great kind of synergy move for both companies, right? It can help Palantir because it gives them that big name that they can really go in and prove this concept with and it gives IBM what they need in getting something that's low code um, that you know they can just kind of plug and go. So great partnership. I think that this could, this has the ability to really take Palantir to a whole nother level. Like I said yesterday, and I'm sticking by that um, long-term bullish on Palantir as always. Um, continuing to hold my shares, continuing to hold my leap for now. Um, and then depending on when we start to see a sell-off, maybe do some intraday plays um, to kind of hedge a little bit of my position as well. So that's all I had. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, it's really exciting to see Palantir trade the way it is. Um, that curl worked perfectly. We're starting to push back up. We are a little bit separated from that eight EMA um, and we tend to revert to it um, over time. So um, it's a matter of time before I think we come to it, whether the eight EMA comes up or we come down just a little bit. And then um, I think we do have a day or two of earnings push left. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and comment down below what your thoughts on Palantir are. If you want Weeble, link in the description. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.